Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out the video. So today, today's gonna be so fun. I've been waiting to do this for such a long time. I've actually never had a snorkel. Um, on the TJ, the air box was high enough and I went through water crossings just fine and uh, we were all good. But just a little side note, snorkels aren't just for deep water crossing. They are mainly for cleaner air and just a raised air intake. Uh, when you're on dusty roads and stuff, you just get better, cooler air. So that's the primary um, reason that I want to use a snorkel, but also we have such deep water crossings and unpredictable water crossings in the Ozarks. So I'm going to slap uh, one of these snorkels on and it's going to be awesome. So we'll get a long look real quick of this perfectly untouched fender because we're about to chop it up with tons of holes. I'm actually not going to drill into the A pillar right there. Um, I'm going to use some super heavy duty double sided tape instead, kind of like a 3M tape, and that should be perfectly fine. So anyway, I'm waiting on my buddy Peyton to come here. He's gonna help me. He's got a super awesome Land Rover, um, and I'm gonna do a full walk around of his Land Rover uh, eventually. It's just really, really cool. I thought you guys would enjoy it. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you, I guess, some of the bits of the snorkel, uh, all the pieces and stuff, and we'll slap this thing on the truck and get to cutting. All right guys, so here is the template for the snorkel. And then here's the snorkel. Um, this is the back side. And then this is kind of what you get with the kit. Really not much. Bolts, nuts, and washers, a couple hose clamps, instructions. You also get this, uh, this is the head of the snorkel. So it just goes right on top. Um, nothing really fancy about it. And then here's kind of the rubber fitting that connects the airbox to the snorkel. This right here, I actually am going to be replacing this with a Cyclone uh, pre-cleaner. It's uh, much better than this head, and I think it looks a little bit better. All right, guys, Peyton just pulled up in his Land Rover there. Super cool. I'm um, going to do a walk around, like I said, uh, eventually of that, of that rig. Um, first thing, uh, according to the instructions, is we're going to take uh, some of the inner fender liner out. So we're going to take some of the clips out and kind of peel it back and just see what we're working with. Uh, give us some some space to put this thing because we got to put the hose clamps on and stuff um, and then we'll probably uh, throw the template on and start cutting all right so you got the inner fender liner done yes all right disconnect the top of the airbox All right, so next we got the air box out and there's these little tabs here that we're gonna grind down um, so that fitting can fit over there uh, real nice and flush. All right, so we just finished um, grinding down the little tabs on the air box. And now I'm gonna, I'm just gonna lay some masking tape all on this fender. But I wanna do this so I don't um, draw directly on the fender. Not that it really matters, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. Nice, make sure you get it nice and straight like I just did. All right, so I totally missed taping all this because I thought I was recording and I wasn't. But uh, lined this up and we lined uh, the left side up. So now I'm just gonna press this so it can kind of contour to the body. I might need your help if you want to press it. I can do this side, I think. Do like uh, one of these maybe. Pull it up. Yep. So you get that like super crispy, crispy edge. That's the crispy edges. Looks like a Mises off of Rick and Morty. <laughs> Come on, Mises. Look at this. This thing's adorable. It's gonna be covered up by a snorkel. You might as well give it a big whack. I can only give it. Look how big of a whack I can give it with this thing. Oh yeah. I'm gonna put like, some touch-up paint on it. Yep. So we put some holes uh, right here and we're just going to do some pilot uh, 
holes that way, we can use the step bit and enlarge this hole. And the reason we wanna do that is so we can put this blade inside the hole and have kind of like a starting point um, to go around and make all the curves. Harbor Freight special coupon, better believe it. Vibrating the crap out of me. Safety glasses third. You gotta test it first and see if you need safety glasses. That's yes. the thing. Yes. <laughs> Yes, man, didn't look pretty, but uh, it worked. Harbor Freight, baby. <laughs> That's a freaking hole. <laughs> so oh bad. my lord. That's so Put massive. your head in there. <laughs> so we uh, did one more step on the holes. Oh my gosh, like a glove. Oh my gosh. Is it flush? Oh yeah. Dude, that looks perfect. That's snug. Awesome. We're gonna take the tape off and then we're gonna deburr the holes and make sure they're smooth and there's no um, sharp edges everywhere. And then we're gonna go around and get a Q-tip and some paint and make sure uh, we cover all this bare metal so that it doesn't rust. Yeah. Oh, dude, basketball. Freaking basketball. This is lefty though. This is lefty, it's not gonna work. Uh, <laughs> from downtown. Oh my gosh, backboard. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the layup, you know, which is just that. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's because I'm filming. Go home. Oh, a little sparkage. All right, guys, so Peyton just deburred um, the edges here with that Dremel. Um, to make sure there's no more burrs. And then we're gonna use some of this primer, use a Q-tip and kind of go around the edges and make sure we coat all that bare metal so it doesn't rust. Dude, if I freaking, if it drips all over the car. Oh shoot, just like that. Oh God. Okay, too much, too much. That's what you want. That's money. That is what you want, boys. Don't be shy. Oh shoot, oh, deburr. Deburr, not. Oh, flip. Oh, oh gosh. That's user error. All right, so we just put the uh, little rubber fitting inside here. And then uh, we'll put the air box on here and then we'll tighten this hose clamp and that'll be pretty much it on the inside here. And then we'll um, do the same thing with the hose clamp on the snorkel. Yep, yep, I'm getting on there. Brad. Oh, no. <laughs> I caught it. Save! <laughs> Here's that A pillar bracket I was talking about. Um, right here is where we put that adhesive. I don't know if you can see that. Um, instead of drilling right into it, we just put that right there. So when we get ready, we're just gonna peel that off and uh, hopefully it'll stick. All we need to do is go through the fender liner there. You can kind of see some of the bolts. And then we'll put a washer on and a nut and uh, then tighten all the hose clamps, put the air box back, we should be golden. This is definitely the way you're supposed to do it. Sweet. Rad. That's in. Oh, really? Boom. Air box done. All right, so Peyton got everything tightened, uh, all the bolts in here, and the air box is all buttoned up. So now we're gonna put on the snorkel head. There we go. Oh yeah, dude. Looks awesome. Now I'm like Peyton with his snorkel. I'm in the Cool Kids Club. Snorkel Brothers. Snorkel Brothers. 
All right guys, well it's been a couple days uh, since I put the snorkel on and I finally got the Cyclone pre-cleaner so we'll be throwing that on in just a second. I wanted to show you guys what this pre-cleaner looks like and how it works and stuff before we do that. But I will say that I've been running this for the snorkel for about, uh, about a week now I think um, and I've noticed I get a almost like a full mile per gallon increase uh, which is crazy awesome I did not expect it to be that much all right guys so here is the cyclone pre-cleaner so this is the series 9000 there's several different models there also is a model that is exactly the same size as this but it has a different um, CFM so it, it takes in a different amount of air volume but guys just know I've done so much research online to figure out uh, if it's the 9001 or 9001 R as far as the correct CFM and Cyclone told me directly um, based off of my engine, based off of everything. So it is the 9001, uh, not the R. I bought this significantly cheaper than, you know, say like, I think AEV sells these. I think, I don't know, a couple other companies out there, but if you kind of reach out like direct, um, it's, it's a lot cheaper. So this head, the one that comes with, does not clean any air that comes in. Any air that comes in your, your snorkel here goes directly to your air filter, and that's the only way to clean it, which is fine. But if you are running really dusty trails or even snow or heavy rainfall or anything like that, uh, this is just a better way to basically double your filtering. So what this does is it sucks air from, from the bottom right here. And once that air is being sucked in, this little fan turns really, 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 really fast. Um, and what that does is it'll stir up all the dust and dirt particles and if you see right there There's a tiny little slit and all that dirt basically gets uh, Kind of goes around like in a tornado and ejects out the side right there So you're filtering kind of doing a pre filter with all the dirt and dust and then the remaining dirt and dust goes down the snorkel and into the uh, actual air filter in the engine besides you know the uh, added benefit of cleaner air um, this has no maintenance as well, so you don't have to do anything or service any bearings in here. Real quick, I forgot to mention, this is the hose clamp uh, style that comes with the Cyclone. Um, really pretty nice. I like it a lot better than the hose clamp that comes with the Safari Storm. But it's black. Black on the black just looks so much better. I put that silver one on just a second ago, and I don't know, it looks kind of it looks kind of weird. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put the black one on there. All right, sorry, I hope you guys can hear me. They're doing some construction behind me. Um, to make sure you put this on correctly, this uh, little, little ejection port goes in the back. So not in the front or the side, it goes in the back. So I'm gonna put that on real quick. All right, so I just put it on there. Um, again, make sure the little slit is in the back. If you line up this uh, end of the plastic, this little line into this, that'll make it all centered. So. Now it's centered and just gonna tighten the hose clamp. Man, that looks totally killer. I love it. It's like a freaking submarine. All right guys, well that's gonna do it for today's episode. Thanks again so much for watching and checking out the video and the channel. I do wanna say thank you so much for anyone that's new that's subscribed to the channel means a ton to me. I also want to say thank you to my all my existing subscribers. You know, even though I've made the switch and I'm, I'm building a new truck, I'm building a Tacoma, and I went from the Jeep to a Tacoma, uh, the channel's still growing very steadily and very well. And you know, it's just all because of you guys. And I just really, really appreciate it. I wanted to say that. Also, I will say I'm kind of, a little bit kind of tired of making these install kind of product videos. I really want to make some videos of this thing out on the trail and I know you guys are dying to see that. So we're getting close, bear with me. You know, we're gonna figure out a sleeping platform, change out the bumpers, you know, do a few other things uh, before we get on the trail for camping this fall. So those are coming soon, I promise. Um, so just bear with me through these videos and then we'll, we'll get some videos on the trail. All right, I'll stop talking. Thank you guys again so much and we'll see you on the next video, bye.